Welcome back. Today's book is Flight of the Last Dragon by Robert Burley, illustrated by Mar Mary Grand Prix. Now, this book is fiction. We just talked about recently. Fiction means it didn't really happen, but it's a fun story. This book is a poem, so I want you to listen for its meter or its rhythm of the words. Listen carefully and see if you can hear the meter, hear the rhythm of this poem, The Flight of the Dragon. Come if you dare, deep underground, make no whisper, shh, no sound. Below the city, far from the sun, beneath the subway where sewers run, where my squeak and rats mumble and distant train wheels rattle and rumble, for here is his home, O oh, gaze upon, the last of the dragons. Ultimon. Poor Ultimon, once a king, now shivers and shakes a pitiful thing. His scales are rusted, his feathers are splattered, his talons are dulled, his wings are tattered. Weak alone he wades in the slime, lost in dreams of a long ago time. A time when dragons ruled the waves and breathed hot flames in jeweled filled caves. Hot tears rained down, sobs Ultamon. I knew them all, now all are gone, and I am left with thoughts that pass like grains of sand in an hourglass. But shh. Listen, traffic slows, the subway sleeps, the daylight goes. Up through his manhole, see Altamon rise. As tall buildings blink like dragon eyes, he beats on the wall of the chill night sky. He breathes, flames sputter, he utters a cry. Please, please, someone have pity on a dragon king called Altamon. At first his cry fades into black, but then a small voice answers back. Deep in the night, a single star seems to call out, you must go far. There is a place, lift up, fly, Ultimon, Ultimon, into the sky. He raises his head, he turns to listen. His tail quivers, his eyes glisten. But can he fly? He stumbles and blinks. His wings droop, his heart sinks. Once more the voice, first faint and then louder and louder. Try, try again. He shudders, he stands. With all of his might, he gathers strength for his final flight. He pushes off, he flat, his flings back his mane. He feels wind rush as his muscles strain. Aha, he's up, the sweep, the glide, talons thrust out, wings flung wide. A late night worker on the 90th floor spies a blur and nothing more. A child turning in her bed, hears feathers whirring overhead. A lonely stroller through a park sees a green glow light the dark. A beautiful something so high and far, a dragon-colored shooting star. Farther and farther he travels on, drawn by a voice, Come, Ultimon, onward and upward, cold and alone, through clouds of dust, past moons of stone, his body aches at every turn, Ice coats his feathers, his hot lungs burn. One star he sights, a twinkling jewel reflected in the sky's dark pool. Closer, closer our dragon flies until pure starlight blinds his eyes and he seems to sense friends all around, sparkling gently without a sound. Come in, Ultimon, come out of the night. 
Come in, Ultamon, into the light. Now scales are golden, now feathers are glowing, now talons glitter, now wings are flowing. Home at last, his journey won, his great flight over, his work is done. Walk out, reader, in the blackest night. Gaze up where the stars are crisp and bright. Next to the pole star that guides with its beam, see a dragon constellation gleams. Can you find Draco the dragon star? Ultimon, Ultimon, there you are. Dragons may or may not be real, but Draco the dragon is real. It's a constellation that shines in our northern skies. In fact, it's very near to the North Star, which always points the way north. The constellation got its name a long time ago. It contains many stars that, if you look up on a clear night, seem to trace the outline of a dragon's head and body. Getting a book on constellations will help you. The square-shaped head consists of four stars and the body winds around and ends in a long dragon tail. Look for it and remember Ultimum. So in our night sky, the stars, there's all different kinds of what's called constellations. It's sort of a group of stars that make a picture. So we have um, the Big Dipper and Ultimum is very close to the North Star. So if you can find the North Star, maybe you can get someone to help you find Draco, the constellation. Um, some of you, I know, probably already enjoy looking at constellations. Right now in the summer, it's a lovely time to go outside and look at constellations, or in the spring, and see what you can find. Um, that's all for today. See you next time.